Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Sandy's Library. I'm Sandy, and we wanted to try something a little different. Uh, so, here's a bonus reading today. Uh, happy Halloween! Uh, that said, this reading is going to be um, a different type of reading than what you used to see from me because Lately, my guides and I have been reading the cards differently than what you've seen from me on camera. Uh, these days, I mean, we've been having a lot of fun with me just pulling some random cards from different decks that I have. And uh, to make a long story short, they've been bugging me about reading this way on camera. So, um, we have developed a pick a card system under this formula that we've been using. <clears throat> My reluctance to do this, to be honest with you guys, is born from the fact that I can't pronounce some of the archangel names on some of these cards that we use. I can't pronounce them here in the 3D. And you know, I can hear it plainly in my head, but it doesn't always fall out of my mouth the same way. Know what I mean? So anyway, we're going to do a pick a card. We have group number one, uh, which is uh, represented by a blue halite. Uh, group number two is represented by uh, peacock copper. Yeah, that's what that's called, peacock copper. And this is uh, Dalmatian Jasper for group number three. So. Here we are with my mispronunciations and all, and uh, if you guys pick one, whichever one speaks to you, uh, you know, uh, if I mispronounce the names, y'all can correct me in the comments, I don't care. Um, but uh, pause the video if you need to, and time stamps for each group will be in the description. Uh, so. When you're ready, well, let's go take a group at... <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do trip over words sometimes too, guys, so that's how it is. Um, but <clears throat> when you're ready, let's take a look at group number one. Okay, so let's take a look at group number one. <clears throat> and as usual, we are going to start this with our Scrabble letters to see if we can tap into the collective to find out um, who we might be talking to for group number one. And <clears throat> I just want to remind you guys that if you never watched one of our videos, it might be a good idea to check the description. Uh, just a suggestion. And uh, just guys, just know that when I say divine masculine and divine feminine, I'm not talking about male or female. Uh, man or woman it has nothing to do with gender. Okay, it's just all about energy. So don't get caught up in the pronouns I use, okay? Alright, let's see what we got going on here. We have a P and an O. So, <clears throat> if you can relate to that, first, middle, last initial, perhaps a geographic location. May be a message for you. Um, so um, let's see what's going on here. All right. So now we we use the um, angels tarot, uh, the major arcana, for uh, the archangel aspect. Uh, that's the only thing we look for in this card is to find out which archangel is offering you guidance or the one you need to seek out okay and so today we have Archangel Michael okay <clears throat> and then we use the work your light oracle and we have the crumbling it says what are you clinging to Okay, Divine Feminine Energy, we have the Five of Swords. Divine Masculine Energy, we have the Four of Wands. What 
just going to set these oracles aside for a, a, a minute, a bit, <laughs> uh, to see what's going on. So, okay, my guides are giving me the astrological energies of Libra and Leo. Okay, so like I said, we have with us today Archangel Michael. And the biggest question that he has for you right now is what are you clinging to out of fear that absolutely nothing is coming to take its place? That's his question. He wants to know what we're what you're clinging to out of fear. Nothing's coming to take its place. <clears throat> and you know, Archangel Michael is here to provide specific guidance about the next steps that you should take. Um, and not just on your life's path, but on your spiritual path as well. And you know, I just don't feel like these two are listening. Uh, you've been in contact here in the 3D but I don't feel like there's contact right now because of where the Divine Masculine is <clears throat> the Divine Mas sorry ha. the wrong words fall out of my mouth sometimes even though I'm thinking the right ones but what I did to say was the Divine Feminine um, she's telling me that she's been back in touch with the Divine Masculine, but that he was deceiving her in some way. Uh, I feel like this is about two people who were in minimal contact, like maybe texting, phone calls, um, just no face-to-face, -face, but something happened. I'm not sure what, but my guides are telling me that the Divine Masculine went a little too far out on a whim that made the Divine Feminine uncomfortable here in the 3D. And y'all, I don't mean uncomfortable in a creepy way. So get your minds out of the gutter. <laughs> this is just my guides talking, okay? Uh, but nevertheless, it did cause the Divine Feminine to distance herself from this 3D connection so she could sort things out. That's what she's telling me. <clears throat> and I know it might sound disheartening, y'all, but sometimes separation is the only way for our twin to see our worth. So yeah, this Divine Feminine stepped back, ended this minimal contact relationship that they had going on here in the 3D, and it ended up leaving the Divine Masculine in this Four of Wands energy. Um, I mean, we can see full well what the Divine Masculine wants. He wants the idea of home sweet home. And he wants it with the divine feminine. He's clinging to it. Even though he knows that the time for this dream has passed. At least here in the 3D right now. So... <clears throat> The Divine Masculine, you know, he's just taken all of his resources, which are his desires, and, you know, he's just built an altar dedicated to what could have been. That's what I see here. You know, when I see this card, I see somebody who's built an altar to what could have been. And that's all he longs for. Mm -hmm. OK. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and see what our oracles are going to say. <clears throat> My guides say, this card is divine feminine energy, so they say it's going to go with this card. So let's see what they, what the divine feminine says. She says, I thought running away would solve all of my problems. Yeah, she thought breaking off contact would be pretty much the same as running away since the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine here in the 3D, they live, I'm getting thousands of miles apart. So she thought that breaking off the contacts would be the same as running away, that's what she says. <laughs> and Willa Beth is saying, silly, silly girl. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's what she thought it was going to Okay, so, and, and then this one is going to be Divine Masculine Energy. And he says, this has all been a cruel twist of fate. Yeah, we see that. Hmm. We do see how you feel that way. We see that for sure. <clears throat> you know, and it really doesn't look like he's going to, like, go of this anytime soon. Uh, so, uh, we have a couple of messages here from Spirit again, and uh, let's see what Spirit says. Every step on the spiritual path leads us into the unknown. The trick is not to be afraid to take each step. Okay. Then we have the arrow in reverse. Um, let's see. They know it's tricky. <clears throat> um, my guides in Archangel Michael, they know it's tricky to offer guidance. So we just need to be quiet and listen because Archangel Michael wants you to make peace with those voices inside your head. He want, he's te here's what he's telling me. He wants you to know that what's yours will be waiting for you. So you don't need to worry about it. Okay. Well, you know, Spirit and Archangel Michael's messages are pretty clear. So let's see, we have a, uh, messages to and from the Divine Feminine to and Divine Masculine for each other. The Divine Masculine says, I write you love letters inside my dreams. And the Divine Feminine says, I fight the urge to text you daily. Yeah, you know, she she didn't like the way that the texting relationship was going. But obviously, you know, she's realizing she thought running away would uh, solve all her, all her problems. But now she's figuring out that was not the case because she tells us daily. She, she fights the urge to text her Divine Masculine, and, uh, well, I'm not really surprised to see that. Y'all know what I am. I'm curious to know if there's going to be contact between these two here in the 3D within the next year. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we got over here, and we'll see if there's going to be contact between these two. Uh, I got the feeling, Divine Masculine, that you better be contacting her for more than just to say hi, though. <laughs> uh, because uh, she's just, uh, she don't want to be there. 
be that in that energy uh, that you had her in last time. So I would pull the little dolphin and the dolphin is for March. So I feel like there could be contact for you two in March and Divine Masculine, but you better get it together so that uh, you can offer her something tangible here in the 3D, okay? So, well, guys, I guess that about wraps it up for group number one. Stay tuned for group number two. Okay, so let's take a look at group number two, which is represented by this uh, peacock uh, copper. That's what it's called, peacock copper. Um, and uh, as usual, we do always start with the Scrabble letter game because I like to play games. And it's fun. But we're going to see if we can find out who we might be talking to inside the collective today. I'm going to pull out a couple of scrabble letters, okay? So, um, and I just want to remind you guys that if you've never watched one of my videos, it might be a good idea to check the description. Just a suggestion. And also when I say Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, please know that that has absolutely nothing to do with gender, male or female, stuff like that here in 3D. It's all about energy. We have an I and a V. We have an I and a V. So if you can pull something out of that, first, middle, last, initial, perhaps a geographic location, this could be a message for you. Okay. Alrighty, so let's see. Divine Feminine Energy. I'm just going to put them over here. Uh, Divine Masculine Energy. Divine Feminine was Five of Cups. And we have Eight of Sorry, guys. Eight of Swords. Let me see if I can get it. <laughs> For the Divine Masculine. Thank you. Uh, pretty sure my uncle knocked that out of my hand. He's been residing in my house since 2016 when he passed away. Okay, uh, we also have the Ever Unfolding Rose. It says, cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. Let's see, Let's see if you can see that. These are beautiful cards. And our Archangel is... Archangel Azrael. Archangel Azrael is who's with us. Okay, so <clears throat> my guides are giving me the uh, astrological energies of Scorpio and Aquarius. And oh my goodness, here's our divine feminine. Mourning the loss of all of these spilled cups. It's like she can't even see the party going on behind her. Or it's two perfectly good cups waiting on the table back here. <clears throat> My guys are saying that the Divine Feminine is holding on to resentment towards the Divine Masculine. They also say... When you find yourself in that energy, you need to let go of those feelings. So you can move on and move forward down your own spiritual path, which incidentally, they say, does not require your Divine Masculine's presence in your life here in the 3D. Um, we'll about the same, in case y'all didn't catch that, your twin's presence in your life is not required for spiritual growth. But you know, honestly, to tell the truth, the Divine Masculine's energy is not any better than the Divine Feminine's. I mean, at first glance, this, to me this card screams trapped. 
not only is she surrounded by all of these swords, but she's also blindfolded. And her hands are chained. But if you look closely, you'll see that the swords are merely her thoughts. And as for the chains that bind her, heck, she has the key in her hand. So, she can remove that blindfold anytime she wants. And then, I'm not overlooking the fact that <clears throat> this card has this dreamy like feel to it. And like I said, that's to remind us that it's all in, your, in our heads. Um, this is a divine masculine who feels trapped in his life. And there have been times when he's even felt backed into a corner. And that's where this comes in. It's happening for you, not to you. You know, it's times like these that you need to call upon Archangel Azrael. Uh, he, he will heal your heart when change and loss brings grief to you. And if you allow it, he will help you move forward fearlessly and let go of the past. So, if you guys are in contact, and it would be minimal, because we are a separation channel after all, uh, but if you are in contact, let it be someone else who is dishing out the ultimatums rather than you. Because the Divine Masculine feels like he cannot escape from the nightmare. He doesn't see reality well enough to know that all he has to do is take off that blindfold. But you know what? When he does, he will see the truth. So don't you be the problem. My guides are telling me what the Divine Masculine needs from you, Divine Feminine, right now is positive energy and unconditional love. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Okay, they're saying that this card is Divine Feminine Energy. So, let's see what she has to say. And she says, I was looking forward to growing older with you. Yes, she was. And this would be Divine Masculine Energy then. He says, I wish I could tell you I'm sorry. Yeah, I feel like the Divine Masculine is riddled with this one, as is the Divine Feminine. Both of them are just reiterating what we already know. So let's take a look at we got a couple of messages here from Spirit, so let's see what else. Okay, Spirit. Twin Flames are connected on the soul level via the heart. So it doesn't matter what they do or how far away they go, they will always be haunted by the other. Why, hell yeah. Look at that. They are both just haunted. And <clears throat> we have Um, council. I mean, Spirit is definitely trying to send a message. Uh, and it's very clear. This is all about listening to your inner being. 
and the handwriting is already on the wall. So, just look around you, and you will discern its meaning. That's what spirit is saying. Just look around you, and you will discern its meaning. You may not like the message that's coming through loud and clear, but, you know, it is what it is. So, let's see what their two messages are to one another. Okay, the Divine Feminine says, I know it wasn't meant to be, but that doesn't always stop me from wallowing in the misery of it all. Well, yeah, we see that right here. She's definitely wallowing in it. Divine Masculine says, My mistakes are always front and center, where they haunt me daily. Oh my, yes. Oh, goodness. You know, I definitely feel the vibration between you two. That said, at this time, I am not really feeling an energy of union. But that doesn't mean that you're both not longing for it. You know what I mean? So... Um, well, let's see. If, will there be contact within the next year? Yes. We want to know that. Will there be contact within the next year? <clears throat> okay, let's see. What do we got? Okay, I finally remember that this is mine. September. <laughs> so, I got a ways to go, but... You know, I'm not surprised at that either because you guys got a lot of energies that you need to clear up here. Okay, so well, I guess that about covers it and good luck to you guys. Um, so, well, let's move on to group three. Okay, let's take a look at group number three, which was represented by the Dalmatian Jasper. Uh, and as always, I like to get started with my Scrabble game. Because uh, I'm nosy. And I want to know who we might be talking to here in the 3D. Okay, let me just slip these in here real quick. And I just want to uh, mention that if you've never watched one of our um, readings before, it might be a good idea to check the uh, video description. Just a suggestion. And also, when I say Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, just know that I'm talking about energy and it has nothing to do with gender. It has nothing to do with man or woman, male or female, because that's all the 3D labels. We're just talking about energy. Okay? So, let's see. Who we got here? We have an R and a U. An R and a U. So, if you can pull anything out of that, uh, first, middle, last initial, perhaps geographic location, there may be a message here for you. Okay, so let's see what we got going on. Um, our worker, <coughs> work your light oracle, we have get grounded. With the card, get grounded. The Archangel who is with us today is Archangel Jeremiel. Okay, let's see. Divine Feminine Energy. We have the Page of Swords. Divine Masculine Energy. We have the Two of Pentacles. Alright, we're going to set our oracles for a side for a little bit <clears throat> while uh, I listen to my guides. And the first thing that they're telling me is uh, astrological energies of Gemini and Virgo. So, you know, your sun, moon, or rising, or perhaps the season. Okay. Spirit 
wants you to do something to get grounded, viewer, so that you can better connect with Archangel Jeremiah. Uh, he's here to help you evaluate your life so you can clearly decide with some clarity you know the, the, the direction that you need to go and you know what changes you need to make in your life and and he can help you with that he can help you decide what needs to be transformed healed or released so you couple these two with this <laughs> And I feel like this is Spirit's way of telling the Divine Feminine to trust her higher self. Yeah, I feel like the Divine Feminine has lost her way. Or she's struggling to stay on track. And while our Divine Feminine is struggling over here, our Divine Masculine is residing in quite a different energy. <coughs> this card right here. My guides like to call this card All Work and No Play Makes Jack a Wealthy Fell. Hmm. And let me tell you, this Divine Masculine has devised a plan to balance out his life by winning you back, Divine Feminine. And you know how he plans to do that? With an offer that's too good to pass up. That's what he's saying. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Shoot. Sorry, guys. But this Divine Masculine is telling me that he's got a lot to make up for. And he believes that offering to make your life more comfortable financially is a good way to start. You know, and I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> Remember, these types are the guardian. They naturally want to protect and provide for those that they love. Yep. So, let's see. Let's see what our oracles say. Divine Masculine is telling me that this is Divine Masculine. Shit. Spirit. Spirit is telling me that this is Divine Feminine Energy. And this comes from our in-house oracle that Crazy For You, which is based on the first book I ever wrote. And, uh, Divine Feminine, right? She says, I trusted you, but you let me down. This may well be why she's having so much trouble keeping the faith over here. Yeah. Divine Masculine. Yeah. Uh, it'd be so great to hear your voice showering me with sweet nothings. <clears throat> yeah, I think none of us are surprised by that. Um, I mean, he does have plans to dazzle you with his pentacles. All the shiny pentacles. <laughs> so let's see what Spirit has to say. We have a couple of messages here from Spirit again. Um, this comes from our in-house oracle deck. Uh, messages from Spirit. The If I Had Married You one comes from the last book I ever wrote. But anyways, uh, what you seek is already inside you. Be quiet and listen. And we have stand still. I mean, <laughs> can these messages get any clearer? Spirit wants us to remember that constant action is not necessarily going to get you where you need to go. 
slow down and wait for the universe to make the next move. That's what they're telling me. I mean, remember, what you seek is already inside you. Be quiet and listen. And then stand still. I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than this. And back here, um, you know, remember all the things we talked about, Jeremiah and getting grounded and how he could help that, make that happen. My goodness, I, this message is surely clear. So let's see what their um, final message is to one another. Uh, Divine Masculine says, every time I think about you, I always end up smiling. Yeah. And and these these cards come from our Lonely Days and Lonely Nights deck. This is an in-house oracle deck and it's designed to allow them to have a conversation. So he told her that every time I think about you I always end up smiling and she says, I wish I could spend one more day with you. Yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> you know, Divine Masculine, I think it's pretty clear that your Divine Feminine wants you. I mean, she just told you, I wish I could spend one more day with you. So I think it's pretty clear. So, what do you say? Uh, I think there will be uh, contact, kind of contact her within the next year. Maybe she'll have to contact you. Who knows? <laughs> but you're the one that's, that's got this thing going on over here. Um, creating all these pentacles with this offer. Oh, hey now. November. November. And hey, it's Halloween. So, November starts tomorrow. Oh, I feel it in the air for y'all. <laughs> yes, I do. Okay, well, I guess that about wraps it up for group number three. And I hope that you enjoy this bonus pick-a-card reading today here on Halloween. Uh, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell because we upload a brand new reading every day. Wishing you love, peace, and happiness. Later, Gators.